Hello everyone! Welcome to tech to tinker My name is George, and in this video, we will talk about the DC motors with ESP32 using MicroPython. What I have here are DC motor modules from Gorilla Cell ESP32 Development Kit. I have here a fan motor module and a gear motor module. It possesses exactly the same pinouts, namely GND for the ground pin. VCC for the supply voltage, in A for the motor first terminal pin, and in B for the motor second terminal pin. For this experiment, you will need an ESP32 development board, an ESP32 shield, a 4 pin female to female dew point jumper wires to attach the DC motors to the ESP32 shield, and of course, the fan motor and the gear motor module itself. In using the Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kits, the following should be observed. When attaching the dupont wires to the modules, the color coding should be observed, which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, yellow and the following colors to the signal pin. While when attaching the other end of the DuPont wires to the ESP32 shield, just match the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers, which is black to black, red to red, yellow and the following colors to the yellow pin headers. For this lesson, I choose GPIO 16 and 17 for the gear motor module and GPIO 25 and 26 for the fan motor module. I choose these pins because these pins are externally driven by the external power supply. When driving a motor, it is always recommended to power it with an external power supply. Hence, that pins is selected. Now for the software part, I prepared here three example source code for this demonstration. Now for example number one, let's explore how we can control a DC motor. It begins by importing the pin class from the machine module in order to access ESP32 pins. Then the simple utility class named Gorilla Cell DC Motors is created to make our code concise where we can instantiate the pin assignments of the DC motors. It makes our code concise and simple because we can reuse the class both for the pan motor and for the gear motor. The class contains only two methods. First, to rotate the DC motor either in clockwise or counterclockwise direction, which basically sets one of the motor's pin to logic one while the other pin is logic zero, and vice versa. The other method is for stopping the motor that is done by setting the motor pins to logic zero. Let me click the run button to execute example number one. And we will use the REPL for this demonstration. Now to rotate the gear motor in clockwise direction, we can use gear that rotate with a parameter of CW, short for clockwise. Or gear that rotate without parameters which will work exactly the same. This works because CW direction is set as default direction. Now to rotate the gear motor in counterclockwise direction, use gear that rotate with CCW string as its parameters and hit enter. Now to stop the rotation of the gear motor, just use gear that stop without parameters. Now for the pan motor module, I am limiting myself because it rotates very fast, producing a loud sound. Anyways, this works exactly the same as the gear motor, but for the sake of this demonstration, let's get into it. To rotate it, pan that rotate. Open and close parentheses and hit enter. And to stop it, just hit pan that stop. The fan motor rotates really fast, right? 
Now, for example, number two, let's control the speed of the motor rotation using PWM. The idea is, by varying the amount of time the terminal pin is in on state or logic 1 using PWM, the current that is applied to the motor will be limited which results to controlling the speed of the motor. While in example number 1, the terminal pin remains in on state 100% of the time. Hence, the motor rotates really fast. Let me click the run button to execute example number 2. And we will use the REPL for this example. To rotate the fan in counterclockwise direction, let's say in 30% speed, use fan that rotate counterclockwise and a speed of 30 and hit enter or to slow it down more maybe give it 20 and hit enter or let's try another maybe 10 no it cannot be the supplied current or the current provided by the pulse width modulation is not enough using this PWM settings. Let's put it back to 20% speed. And to stop it, just send pan that stop. Open and close parenthesis, hit enter. The same pin assignment is used, but this time PWM driver is attached to its pin. PWM frequency is set to 500 Hz and a PWM duty of 0 which initializes the pins to op state PWM duty can be set from 0 to 1023 a PWM duty value of 0 sets the pin to op state a PWM duty value of 1023 sets the pin to on state now with another example let's control the speed of the fan motor according to the value of this potentiometer. Okay, I attach the potentiometer on GPIO 32. Let me click the stop button to terminate example number two. Then click the run button to execute example number three. This example basically reads the analog value of the potentiometer. And by ratio and proportion, the potentiometer value, which have a value of 0 to 4095, is converted to 0 to 99, which will represent the percentage of speed, which can have a value of 0 to 99. Now, when I rotate the potentiometer, the ADC value will be displayed in the REPL, as you can see here. And increasing it more, rotating it more, the fan motor will start rotating. This ADC value can have a value from 0 to 4095 but 4095 will result to a very loud sound let's see it and as you can see it's getting wild and to turn it up just set the potentiometer to the extreme left which is smart as minimum or zero so that's pretty much of it. I hope you can learn something from this. As always, the source code that is in here including other information can be found in the companion blog post for this video. 
www.techtotinker.blogspot.com Links in the video description. If you have any question, please write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless.